being the drum up shop, this is a really, really crazy shit. I've been playing, I've been playing, I've been playing um, rock and roll for a while. For me, shop for good is bringing, it's bringing back that, that fucking rock and roll thing. <laughs> playing, playing live with shop for is absolutely mental. It is impossible to know what the fuck they're gonna go through because um, you, you, Stevis, uh, Stevis basically goes life. You need to be aware of everything that's going on on stage. They get all fucked up and they don't give a shit about what's going on. So I need to really control those guys, and make sure that they do what they have to do. Charles lyrics. To be honest with you, I don't give a damn about Charles lyrics. <laughs> this is the last thing I care about in this fucking band. We don't know about. I don't. I, I haven't seen those lyrics yet. I don't know, I don't know what the lyrics go about. I just got titles and, and funny words like thunder, lightnings and fucking like, frogs and all that shit. And I don't know what the songs are about, to be honest with you. Davis, as a guitarist, uh, uh, yeah, he says he's a fucking brilliant player. Man. I haven't played with someone like Davis for a while, and it's, it's pure energy. It's just basically, you know, you know that whatever it's going to bring in a song, like this is going to be cool stuff. So my my personal objective for Chop Chop is to have 1,000 people in the venue at the end of 2013. It's just like a uh, worst thing Chop Chop is not to be fucking able yet to to bring amps to be at. I like, I really like the rock and roll style that we have. At the end of the day, we, you can call us heavy metal, you can call us hard rock, whatever thing. We do rock and roll, that's what we do. There's something I'm going to say now, and the title of the album is going to be... Mel actually doesn't wear glasses. Well, he does wear them, they're not real. They're uh, designer glasses. It's kind of like the world's best worst kept secret. I don't know why he thinks he doesn't even look cool when he wears them. He needs to get laser surgery. Give me! Who? Mel? Mel? Who's Mel? No, he's, oh, he's a wonderful fella and uh, the man's just been so good since he... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I, I always believed that I was born in Bloody Seville. It's not true. Some, some paper said that I was actually in Uganda. But, but, you know, Charlie actually put me in contact with some people. And these guys were tracing all my, my family tree. And... Um, where the fuck? I'm, I'm from Mary Heon. And uh, I don't know, I don't know what the fuck even Heon is, but but it was like, like you know you know when you have something and it's like, yeah. And then when Chow was mentioning Heon, I was like, yeah, he actually you say Heon, it, 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 that should ring the bell. So, so in a few months I would say, I'll be able to prove to the world that I'm not from Sevilla, but from Heon. <laughs>